a little bit maybe use a clamp and just pull it out or get a couple buddies and help me pull that out and then maybe just a little duct tape action some black duct tape and then just put these lights back into place obviously i don't have to rewire or something but then it probably could be used again you know it probably looked good as new obviously over here i'll just spray can it over a little bit of here is just a you know just a little touch of design like down here as well but i think it could be looking good as new if i just do those little things what do you guys think it's probably a good idea i just pulled off these little plugs from the, the bull bar here <laughs> and uh if there's any other pieces here i'm gonna probably just salvage some bulbs or something bolts or something i always like to keep all that kind of stuff whenever an electronic of mine breaks or something an appliance i always take it apart and keep all that kind of stuff because you never know when you're going to need it some of the stuff on this truck may be a little bit rigged so yeah when i was looking at the damage i also pulled off some more plastic pieces here just some random stuff around the light you know just some weight reduction make sure to be able to have more out power output on the road to the wheels so we also got the old coolant here so it seems as if it doesn't really give a good seal that's a good seal so maybe maybe just maybe the bottle wasn't sealed and that's why that's why it was i don't know turning brown or something the body wasn't sealed and it was just sitting for months that may be the reason but without further ado let's head on out of here start her on up never have to worry about this truck man if you guys are thinking about buying a silverado and it has the 5.3 engine 5.3 v8 engine definitely big enough not too small not too big it's definitely the way to go very reliable so let's head on out i gotta get some stuff let's get it in that cummins oh i didn't even notice this bro this is the only toyota that i would ever consider well color option at least and then i'd opt for the black wheels man they really they really killed it i was talking to i was talking to mike before and the toyota those toyota colors that they do on either the tacoma or the full size it looks great look at this so i may be heading to a diesel event within the next week i know it's gonna be freezing outside though but i'd still go anyway See, there's not too much stuff going on here because I'm not from Florida, California, or just the warm areas, you know. So whenever the winter months come in and everything gets freezing, people usually don't do much, and then the events kind of come to a halt until the springtime. So I'm going to try to do as much as I possibly can, but that's why I'm not really hitting up events or anything. I love going to those things, trust me. The next call, I'll be there, but there's really nothing much going on until it gets warmer, so... Once it is in though, we are gonna go. This is the Updip G71 channel. We got a diesel addiction. Y2 Country Full Series XM. Wow, would you look at that? That's actually a cool one. I was never really a fan of the Chargers, but that is pretty sweet. Black wheels on it, too. Sick, bro. Going, get going, my dog. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's horrible. So we're going to have to get the replacement here. That's what we're going to do while we're here, and then we're going to get rid of the old, and I know where to go for that. So tune in. Damn, just look at that car, though. Sick. It's the blog. Damn, look at this thing. It's got a LED light on it. USB ports. Thought I bought a good one. I tell you what, this is a huge automotive section, but uh, everything here, they do not have it. I'm thinking about a couple of these, put them up on top of the truck, and then drive really fast all the time. Oh, here we go. I'm about to wrap the truck. Vinyl? Look at this, some evil scientist shist. My real name is Lionel. Let me know if I really need this here. Or a fuel system cleaner. 
Thanks. Oh, don't mind if I do. <sighs> well, I'm glad I don't have to deal with this. Look at that, it's already exploding. Gee, Willikarg! <laughs> oh yeah, about to bump the base. There we go. Oh yeah, we got ourselves another Denali. Alright, over there we got SRT Mush, and then we got this. Oh, gosh. Cringiest. Oh my gosh! Well, that sure is an interesting taste. It's pretty much a coconut soda. Look at those rims, damn! Look at that building over there. Leaves me speechless every time. I tried to get a picture of my truck, a rolling shot on that road in front of that building and everything, but there's always too much traffic. So, so this place is delicioso if I do say so myself. Let's see if they'll take the old cool one. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Mission accomplished, guys. Oh! I figured, you know, Walmart doesn't have what I need. I might as well just drop this off now and then get what I need at uh, Pet Boys because I know they'll have it. Not Pet Boys. What is it? Our freaking Napa. Come on, man, you gotta get a garage for that Porsche. Go right on the street next to, well, on the same street actually, of Valvoline. So you're probably wondering, how did I figure out a place to take the old coolant? Because, well, at least around here, not every place takes it. It's kind of hard to find a place. I had to call actually multiple different places to find an actual place to take it, and I just was able to give it to Valvoline here up in pill but I mean your Valvoline in your area might not even take it so you're just gonna have to call around and see which place will take it they take it for free maybe some places will charge you I don't know hopefully they'll take it for free though all right guys we are back I got the Xerox Sam brand I mean I want to flush the whole system as I saw in the tank and the Cummins everything looks fine so let's head home now whoa so I asked the guys in there about the coolant that just sludged up on me I have no idea I mean it was still liquidy but there was just sludge and it was turned a different color and they were saying oil or a different cooling would have had to get in there or being contaminated i don't know what happened to it i'm just gonna have to pay more attention to this one <laughs> <laughs> 